Yo, what was your first ringtone? Okay, let's just, just think about that for a second. I, I won't judge you because I can guarantee you your first ringtone was not worse than mine. I'm not even sure if I want to tell you what mine was because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm fucking embarrassed. Your ringtones was like a step up from the voicemail music. Remember that when you would leave uh, the music behind your voicemail? Yeah, you reach Desi. Leave your name and number and I get back to you. That's right, my first voicemail song was called Thomas Summer Rain. I had, I had chicks calling, I'm, I'm sorry, I had women calling. But there was a small amount of y'all, a little, a little small elite group of dumbasses that had ringer ringtones. Like ringtones wasn't enough. Like you had to take it a step further. So when somebody call you, you don't hear the phone ringing. It's a goddamn song playing. You over there trying to call your cousin because your grandmother fell down the steps. You real urgent and panicking and shit, but you got to sit through this shit. Hey man, um, Grandma Fernanda Steps, man, she in the hospital about to die. C can you can you take that off your phone, please? That that song why it's ring. Cause you gotta think when ringtones first came out, like it was them polynomic songs. You remember that shit? And the thing is, you next tell niggas thought y'all was better than everybody, and y'all and y'all could only get polynomic ringtones. Y'all had to chirp. Y'all had the big ass flip phones and shit. They was durable. But us Samsung niggas, we had ringtones, and y'all was mad. And then it wasn't no shit you could just download. It, there was like a store, you had to wait in line, and then somebody would fucking download it for you, and you had to make sure the shit worked. It was like a process in getting one ringtone. And then when we did find a website to download ringtones, it gave your phone AIDS, and then you had to take the phone back to the store. Like, I didn't do nothing. I don't know why I think like that. I wasn't paying for shit. I, I found a website. It was I don't know if y'all remember this shit. It was called MBuzzy. And I would get my ringtones off of that. But my first ringtone, I'm going to tell y'all what it was. My first fucking ringtone was freak a -Leak by P.D. Pablo. And it wasn't like the song. It was a polynomic song. Like, it sounded good when I first, like, downloaded it. And I was in my freshman year of college. And somebody called me. And I was like, I'm going to let it ring so everybody hear the ringtone. And mind you, the class was just quiet. And I was like, when that shit vibrate first and then ring... I want the whole class to hear this shit. And then I went to a community college. It wasn't no university. You wasn't gonna see everybody your age in there. I had, it was like crackheads, pregnant women, a pastor in the back. It was all kind of people in the class. And my cousin called me, man. That shit vibrated. I let that shit ring. The fuck is that? Why is somebody playing Freak the League in the damn club? Excuse me, can you turn that off, please? Can you cut that off? I need a clam. Shit's so stupid. Sorry. I said, man, I'm gonna download ringtones when they upgrade the technology because this shit right here is embarrassing. I'll tell you what else is embarrassing. Not having your tickets for the next comedy show at the Improv in Orlando. Me and my sister Jess are gonna rock out. I wanna see y'all at the show uh, November 5th and 6th. Get y'all tickets on the website right now. I'll see y'all soon. Orlando.